Ashraf Memorial Hospital Kalmunai, the National Green Award winner is committed to carbon reduction. The National Tree Planting Program aimed at planting 1 million trees across the country was launched in accordance with the environment policy outlined in President Gotabaya Rajapaksa's election manifesto to increase the forest cover of the country from 29% to 32% within the next five years. Under the National Tree Planting Program, trees will be planted in the premises of government institutions island-wide. The world may be hurting, but there is a solution. Plant trees save lives. Whether it's using fuel or electricity, or traveling by car, bus, train, or plane, our daily activities release carbon dioxide into the air. Carbon dioxide is the leading greenhouse gas contributing to climate change, the impacts of which are already being felt around the world. Smallholder farmers in the poorest parts of the world are the most vulnerable to the effects of climate change because they are heavily dependent on their land for their livelihood. Just as each of us contributes to climate change by creating CO2 emissions, each of us can also be part of the solution. This involves reducing our carbon footprint and supporting worldwide climate projects that help absorb carbon emissions and tackle poverty, such as community-based reforestation. Wood is made up of 50% carbon, so when trees grow, they absorb carbon dioxide from the air and store it in their plant tissue. Closer to the equator, trees grow up to 10 times faster than they do in northern regions, making tropical reforestation one of the most efficient and cost-effective ways of absorbing carbon dioxide. The program recognizes smallholder farmers as catalysts for overcoming poverty while tackling climate change. With a GDP per capita income of $1,079 per year. To encourage smallholder farmers to participate, the program provides them with the training, resources, and funds needed for them to plant and maintain these trees on their property. Because trees are more resilient than agricultural crops, farmers gain a much needed alternative source of income from the program. This makes their livelihoods less vulnerable to the impacts of droughts and floods. The Community Carbon Program follows the internationally recognized Plan Bevo standard, which is exclusively designed to improve the livelihoods of smallholder farmers with better land use management and more sustainable use of forest resources. Each reforested area is mapped using GPS technology. Local staff monitors the trees annually to ensure that the program is successful. To guarantee the long-term survival of the trees, participating farmers receive regular payments from the sale of carbon offsets upon successfully meeting monitoring targets over time. These payments provide an important additional source of revenue for farmers, where the average income is $80 a month. The program is also designed so that some trees can be thinned out, making way for the bigger trees to grow. This selective harvest also provides a sustainable source of firewood and timber for smallholder farmers, which can be used to produce charcoal for local markets as another source of income. The Community Carbon Program uses a variety of native tree species that are well adapted to the local climate. These trees provide important local ecosystem services such as regulating the local climate, restoring water to the nearby watershed, supporting local biodiversity, and filtering the air. Each year, the program hires hundreds of community members throughout the planting season, making it the largest source of employment in the area. Participants plant close to half a million trees a year, which cover a total area that is roughly equivalent to 380 football pitches. These trees will absorb over 80,000 tons of CO2, which is equal to the average annual emissions of 21,000 cars or 26,000 economy return flights from Zurich to Miami. As one of the world's leading providers of voluntary carbon offsetting, My Climate supports this reforestation initiative that preserves ecosystems and improves livelihoods while mitigating climate change. Eden Reforestation Projects is one of the leading reforestation organizations in the world. Our work started in a rural village where the entire area had been deforested. The environment is supposed to be a blessing, but in this village it was a curse. Every day was a struggle to survive. Across the globe this is a common problem. Places that used to be forest are now becoming desert. 
but we realized we could make a difference by hiring local villagers to replant their forest. We built an innovative infrastructure and hired thousands of local villagers to plant trees. Millions and millions of trees. Now, years later, this village and dozens more like it have their forest back. And the environment is a blessing again. Hiring a village to plant a forest worked so well that we built a nonprofit around the idea. Eden Reforestation Projects plants millions of trees every month, making us one of the most successful reforestation groups in the world. And our reforestation processes are among the most cost effective in the world. For as little as 10 cents per tree, Eden guarantees that we will plant, grow, and guard your trees to maturity, resulting in a healthy, native forest. All our work is funded by donations coming from a combination of individuals, groups, and eco-conscious businesses that want to plant trees every time they sell a product or to offset carbon emissions from production or travel. Together we are restoring the environment. Together we are bringing new life in villages to dads and moms who desperately want to care for their families. Together we are planting hope. The world may be hurting, but there is a solution. Plant trees, save lives. Ashraf Memorial Hospital Kalmunai has registered the ISO certification under GHG verification which was done by the Central Environment Authority in partnership with Ministry of Mahaweni Development and Environment in 2018.